Hello guys, in this video we are going to see the application process at the University of Kaiser Lauten for the course called as Embedded Computing System. So I'll be applying to the course and uh, it is a Masters in Science course. There are n number of other programs available at the University of Kaiser Lauten in Mechanical Engineering, in Computer Science, in Electrical Engineering and other fields as well. So this is the University website. All the course details or the available programs will be mentioned on this course website. So you can check that out. Uh, I'll be applying to the embedded computing systems course. This is the DART website for the same and uh, this website will tell you the details about the course and uh, everything about the deadlines and all. Uh, so there are two intakes winter and summer semester. Uh, winter and summer intake. Uh, the deadlines for those are as such. You can apply for them according to your priority or according to what when you have to apply for, uh, apply at. So this is the course description or the program details then about the funding or the cost needed so it is a technical public university and there is no tuition fee as such because it's a public university in germany so there won't be any tuition fee but there will be a semester contribution of around 240 euros per semester which will also include your uh, transportation in the country i mean in the city area and uh, other other free stuff the cost of living in the city will be around 800 euros so hello guys this is vikas welcome to the channel and let's start okay so without wasting any time let us dive into the application process you can directly go on to the course website from here i'll click the click on the course website and i'll end up on the embedded computing systems web page wherein you will uh, you can see all the details about the course uh, about the program and everything else so i'll, I'll directly go over here uh, here it is a catalog for all the master's degree programs uh, the international master's degree program in english language so there's also there's also a famous course known as commercial vehicle technology at the university of kaiser lauten so people from uh, mechanical process engineering computer science electrical engineering can apply for that for the course because it is an interdisciplinary master's program so it's a it's an interesting program you can say you can check the details over here uh, on the website as well i'll be applying to this course called as embedded computing system there is other course known as automation and control as well and there's european masters in embedded computing systems so i've already covered the application for the for this uh, course this is a course under the Erasmus Mundus scholarship. So this is the, the scholarship is a full full scholarship full. Um, they will cover all your living expenses and your tuition fee. And you will have you get you will get a chance to study at any of this any of these four universities. One is in Germany, Norway, UK and Italy. So it's an interesting scholarship program. You can check the video as well to see how the application process is and it's a very competitive scholarship so guys we'll dive into the process of applying to the embedded computing systems course so i've already opened the application portal so first of all i'll log out here will be a registration form you have to fill in the registration form uh, it's a simple process you have to register for the portal and you'll get the login credentials after that after getting your login credentials on your email id you can log in using your login details over here i can do that so i'll log in with my details uh, i've already applied uh, for the course okay i've logged in into the portal so this application i have prepared as a demo application to tell you guys about the process so first of all you will have to write in your personal details your name email id and your citizenship and your address after that you'll have to upload your photograph and your cv uh, while uploading your CV, note that uh, it's better you upload the CV uh, in the Europass format. I have given the link for the website where you can create your Europass format uh, CV in the description box. So do check that out. Uh, it is highly recommended that whenever you are applying to a German university, uh, the CV or the resume you are applying with should be in the Europass format. After that, you will have to choose the program you are applying for. So it's either embedded computing systems or automation control okay after that you will have to upload a few documents first of all it's your letter of motivation in the letter of motivation you know what it is uh, the statement of purpose or letter of motivation whatever you call it as so you'll have to upload that then two letter of recommendations 
uh, they have stated that you can you have to apply two letter of recommendation but if you have other one like you have three or four you can upload upload that as well you just have to add on this and uh, you can upload your file from here and if you want to comment anything on that file you can comment it and upload it after that if you have any publications or any research work or anything related to patents and all you can upload that documents as well the process will be similar click on the plus icon then uh, choose the file from your local drive or your local uh, computer and then uh, comment on that and upload it after that miscellaneous documents in uh, over here you can upload your certifications your internships letters your work experience uh, any awards or uh, uh, achievements you have uh, received you can upload everything over here you can either make a sep you can make separate files and upload it or you can even uh, upload it in a merged file as well you can you can just have you just have to click on the plus icon and uh, the process will be same as the above one fine they have given a guideline to for your letter of motivation do that do check that out as well they have given a few rules uh, like uh, what ideally your letter of motivation should look like and all that okay after that you'll have to add your degree or study so this is your bachelor's degree details uh, this other details like degree type what it is I mean um, bachelor of engineering or science or technology then area of degree it's uh, electrical engineering or computer engineering what is your field like if you are from electronics department or electronics uh, branch you can apply with electrical or you can simply mention other areas the engineering and then you will have to write it over here somewhere over here fine then uh, start and end date then completion month when did you completed your bachelors which university then which country india or wherever you are applying from study language your bachelor's degree was in which study language if it is in english so select english or if your medium of instruction was other than english then select that i'll show you a sample profile as well wherein i have still i have already filled in every details okay so after filling your bachelor's detail you'll have to mention a final grade as well so this application i'm showing uh, was for the 2021 intake where i have uh, at that time i have not i had not completed my bachelor's so i was applying with six semester results so they rejected my application uh, because of multiple reasons so one of the reason was that i had not completed my bachelor's but that is not a valid reason because the university allows you to apply with six semesters or whenever you are in the final year of your study so my my reasons for rejection was others other reasons as well you will have to mention your total credits like my course was of 190 credits and uh, grade points and you will get to know about this on your official mark sheets so you can read that and uh, write it down okay then uh, attachments you will have to upload a degree certificate again i had uploaded a provisional waiting i mean provisional degree certificate from the college but right now i do have the passing certificate so you guys can apply with your passing certificate as well but all those who are in the final year of your studies do make sure that you have a provisional degree certificate from your college office go to your college office and tell them that uh, you need a provisional degree certificate or provisional passing certificate stating that you will complete your bachelor's in so and so month in the so and so year okay after that if your transcript or your degree certificate is not in english language or german language you will have to show the translation of that as well so mine was in english so i uploaded both uh, english uh, wait degree certificate in both of these places transcript of records again i was not able to pro, um, show them the transcript of records at that time because i was not sure about the application so you have to upload the transcript all your semester transcripts from the university so that is a pretty simple step okay now this university ask you for detailed app uh, detailed information about your course okay they want to make sure that uh, the courses they are you have completed in a bachelor's are fulfilling fulfilling the requirements for the master's courses at the university of kaiser lauten so for example computer architecture so what subjects uh, were in your bachelor's degree related to computer architecture so in my case it was systems programming and operating system so i'll show you one sample like how to write these details so i'll go back to the demo account again fine so over here yes as you can see uh, i'll go to for example i'll go to digital circuit design okay so i'll add subject then i'll 
I will have I have already filled in the details last year. So these are the uh, these are my previous details again. Okay, fine. You have to write down whatever whatever subject was under the digital uh, circuit design. For example, mine was uh, digital electronics. For example, and uh, I'll write that down. And uh, what percentage of my study was was in the lab? So basically, you will get to see these details on your mark sheets. I cannot explain it in so detail because every university has its own lab uh, percentage. So mine for for electronics or uh, sorry digital electronics was twenty five percent. So if I have four lectures in a uh, sorry if I have three lectures in a week for digital electronics, so I had one lecture for lab in the digital electronics subject. So basically, it's a twenty it's twenty five percent of the co total course uh, of digital electronics. Similarly. Uh, you have to fill all in all the details like this. Okay, then uh, language or uh, qualification. You have to prove your English language proficiency test. Uh, it can be either IELTS, TOEFL. If you have any German uh, proficiency, you can state it here as well. For example, IELTS. Uh, 8.0. Just an example. So you can state that or TOEFL score and just say okay and that's it. So I won't fill the form. Uh, and the English language qualification certificate, you'll have to upload the certificate, either it's IELTS or TOEFL or any other. Fine. After that, if you have given GRE, you can upload those details as well. Uh, please note that GRE is not mandatory, but uh, if you have GRE, just um, put in the details because it will just boost your profile. And don't worry if you don't have GRE, it's not at all recommend. I mean, not at all mandatory. It's recommended, but not mandatory. Fine. In the attachment part, uh, now here you have to upload your full course module of your bachelor's. So um, you'll have to take. I um, mean, you have to find this document from the university websites uh, website wherein uh, your bachelor's university. So. Um, what subject you have learned in your bachelor's degree first semester second semester all the details you have to gather i mean there will be pdfs of your study on your university websites and you'll have to download it and just upload it okay in further qualification if you have any other degree other than your bachelor your bachelor's for example if you have already done any master's degree or any certification courses so you can mention it over here as well Okay, the last step is the assessment fee. Okay, so TU Kaiser Lauten charges a application fee of 60 euros. So it is one of the few universities from Germany which charges you application fee. So the application fee is 60 euros as I said and you will get the details over here. They will share you the bank details wherein you have to pay your application fees or your assessment fee. They, they call it as assessment fees. So you have to pay 60 euros to this bank details. I mean this bank account. Now how do you do that? So you have uh, many options. For example, you can use the Wise Transfer Mobile app or um, there are other apps related, I mean um, like that only but uh, the safest way is go to your bank uh, in whatever country you are living in for example in india you go to your bank uh, state bank of india or hdfc whichever bank it is go um, go to that bank and tell them that you have to do a remittance of a certain amount to the german bank they'll tell you the details over there it's a short process uh, you'll it's just a 5 minute process you'll have to uh, i mean uh, write down the details of uh, the, the bank on a form they will give you and that's it it won't be a tough process so you just have to go to your bank and after you pay that amount within a couple of days you'll get a notification that your assessment i mean your fee is already paid so i did that last year i'll show you how it looks like okay as you can see this is my previous year's application i've don't get confused guys these are two different applications uh, the process is same for both one i mean it's a same portal only Okay, so I've already paid the assessment fee and it will show me that uh, it's paid on what date. Show the proof of payment. There will be a notification or there will be an email on, I mean, you'll get an email stating that your application has been paid or uh, also you'll get a receipt from your bank as well. So you have to upload the detail. I mean, you have upload the scanned copy of that receipt as well. And at the end, a short survey and that's it. So you can see the status of my application. So uh, application has not been accepted by the committee. So there were re various reasons that like uh, I had incomplete documents. I didn't have the transcript at the time of application. So that is why the application was rejected last year. 
so and this year i am not applying for this university i have not applied for this university because i have already received a better admit and i am going for that so that's it guys this was the entire comp entire process of applying to the tu kaiser lauten in uh, university for the course called as embedded computing systems the same process is for automation and control and hopefully for cvt as well i'm not sure about cvt exactly but um, the documents needed will be approximately same so thank you guys thank you for watching the video so long and uh, i'm sharing you the important links for applications to other universities as well in the description box so do check them out if you are applying to any german university uh, do check the videos while referring while you are while you are applying for those universities so it will be helpful for you as well so thank you guys thank you for watching the video so long uh, this is vikas signing off and all the best bye bye Thank you.